Hello and welcome to another Daily Dose of English. These days I have so much work that I hardly know whether I'm coming or going. Seems I'm not the only one either. Elena Martinez Gonzalez has asked me what's the difference between come and go. Well, Elena, I intend to answer that question right now. What it boils down to, Elena, is direction and location. Now, I'm at home at the moment. My wife is in town. If my wife telephones and says, Hello, Richard, I'm coming home. It means she's on her way from town to home. If she telephones and says, Will you come and see me? It means I'll go from home to her, to the speaker. She's the speaker, so I'm going to go from my home to where she is. She will come home if she comes towards me, and I will go to town if I go towards her. Take a party, for instance. I can have a party at my house. You can have a party at your house. If you come to my house, you come. You go from the place you are, you come to my house. So, are you coming to my party? If the party's at your house, however, then I will go to your party. I'm going to go to your party. I live in Seville, so if I talk about London, I have to say that thousands or millions of tourists visit London every year. Millions of tourists go to London every year. But I live in Seville. So I can say, millions of tourists come to Seville every year, because I'm in Seville. Millions go to London, because it's away from me, and they come to Seville, because it's towards me. I'm in my house now. I can go to the shops. If I want you to go to the shops with me, I'll say, come to the shops with me. Why don't you come to the shops with me? Then we'll go to the shops together. And it works the same in the past. I went to your party. You came to mine. And in the future too. I will go to your party. I'm going to go to your party. You will come to my party. You're going to come to my party. So, Elena, I hope that answered your question about coming and going. And I'll see you again tomorrow for another Daily Dose of English. Bye for now.